So due to our time restriction, uh, we pre-collected questions from community members, and I'm going to be reading it to panel. If any of you can answer this question, uh, that would be great. So the question was, why the language service is not happening? Why interpreter service is not quick enough when I go to hospital? And I was just wondering if it's uh, protected by law. I would like one of you to explain why. So it's mainly why it's not happening. So I guess it's kind of like broad question. Anybody wants to answer? <laughs> well, I think it's, you know, money is part of it. The state budget cut many county departments so we don't have as many staff as we did last year. Just to be honest, we have 800 fewer staff. That has some impact. That's not the total impact. I do think it's important for us to realize the value of translation for all of you, and I think this meeting has certainly helped, helped us to do that. We have about, well, almost 4,000 staff in DPSS who are bilingual for the various programs, but we only have 38 in the Korean language, so that is a challenge for us. Oh, thank you for your answer. And I would like to just acknowledge the fact that we have members of, uh, members from Cambodian community and Filipino community. So I just wanted to let you know that, uh, not only Korean and other community members are here present. So if you want to, you know, address that, that would be great too. Um, so, Again, uh, we have time restrictions, oh. and we have a lot of great community-based organization representatives here today. So we would like to hear a couple of comments from them. Um, I would like uh, for Eli from Neighborhood Legal Service Center. Would you like to give us a comment? Good morning, everybody. I'm, a, I'm at Neighborhood Legal Services. I'm a staff attorney, and we've, we've been working very hard to try to assist uh, you guys and anybody else who has uh, needs for language access to get that language access. And many times we've had to file some complaints because we haven't uh, received uh, the appropriate response and the people that we're helping out. And one of the things that we've noticed is that when we've filed complaints and there's an investigation, many times the, the results of the investigation are that, you know, it was bad service and it, it wasn't discrimination. And we're having a problem because it almost seems like discrimination is very narrowly defined. It's almost like it has to be intentional for it to be discrimination. And so one of the questions that we have is, What's the difference between discrimination and bad service? And at what point does bad service become discrimination? So those are the challenges that we face. I don't know if there's anybody here who can help us with that. And it's, it's a challenge. Uh, we understand the challenge. And we appreciate that you're working hard on it. And I, I thank you for allowing me to make a comment. Um, anybody would like to respond to uh, Eli's comment? I'm Nick Ippolito. I'm the Social Services Deputy for Supervisor Kanabi. Um, Neighborhood Legal Services has been an ongoing partner with the county on many different issues involving advocacy for our CalWORKs recipients or GR recipients and folks who are on Medi-Cal as well. Um, you know, I, I defer to uh, Mr. Browning for more information, but um, I think that we, I think that DPSS and, and the county in general makes an um, um, uh, extended effort to work with advocates to look at not only particular issues as it pertains to um, specific clients and specific situations, but also those specific situations if they're indicative of a larger systemic issue. And I, and I know, Bob, you meet fairly regularly, I think, with, with advocates on, on the issue of, of civil rights and language access. I know as far as my boss is concerned, and I think of everybody at this table, um, uh, customer service and um, making sure that people have reasonable access to the services that they're entitled to and the information they're entitled to is is priority number one. 
and um, I think we just you know we just continue to work on those issues and 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 just and just continue to um, uh, try to identify resolutions for them. So I hope that makes sense. I don't know if anybody else wants to add anything from the county's perspective. Well, one thing that would be helpful before this meeting is over, or maybe after that, is to have some specific situations, a specific name, a case number, and what didn't go right. I have the one uh, set of forms here, which would certainly be helpful. I know you want those back, but if we could have some very specific things that we could go back and see if our automated system is doing something that we're not aware of, maybe it's not doing what we think it is. We not we know it's not doing everything we would like it to do, but there may be some some information that you have that you can give us so that we can go back and identify specifically in your situation what went wrong. That's the only way we'll fix this system. And Michelle is here. You want to stand up again, Michelle? Michelle is bilingual, and I think she can certainly get information from some of you about the specific problem, the specific form, the date, and actually what what happened. So if, if, if you just want to say that again so that everyone will uh, understand that, Michelle. 어, 저희가 그 트랜슬레이트 하는 폼들이 그 리더 시스템 안에 들어가서 그것을 그 코리안 스피킹 워커가 아, 코리안 스피킹 하는 랭귀지로 사인이 되면은요. 그것이 이제 코리안 폼으로 클릭이 돼서 리더 시스템에서 그게 나오게 돼 있어요. 그래서 그런데 지금 프로블럼은 아직 그 많은 랭귀지들이 그 안에 다 들어가 있지 않기 때문에 그런 스텝들이 필요해서 그런 것 같아요. 근데 저희들이 지금 말씀하신 미스터 브라우닝께서 말씀하신 것은 그런 랭귀지들이 우리 리더 시스템 안에서 클릭을 했을 때그 폼들이 자동적으로 다 나오게 되어 있는데요. 그래서 그런 시스템의 문제가 조금씩 걸리는 것 뿐인 거예요. 그래서 아직 저희들이 어, 준비한 것을 다 어, 리더 안에 다 넣지를 못했고요. 그런 것들이 어, 조금 기다려야 되는 문제들이 있는 것 같아요. Um, uh, I just wanted to respond. Got it. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay.